Fluffles, come out from behind the couch, please, Fluffles. Fluffles! Fluffles, come out, you silly dog, please. Fluffles, please, God. Please come out from the couch, please. Fluffles, I'm gonna have to move the couch, Fluffles. Please, don't make me do it. Fluffles, please move from behind the couch, please. Well, it's finally done. I finished installing my surveillance system. Now, if you or Susan or Lucy try to go into my room, I'll know for sure. I hate you, Peter, and I hope you die. Edmund, you shouldn't say such terrible things to your brother. Fluffles, please come out from the couch. I'm going to push the couch very hard now, Fluffles. This is your last chance. Please. Oh, oh my. Oh, hello. How do you do, my fine young fellow? What in the world are you? <clears throat> my name is Commander Sparks. I am a naiad from the magical land that rests inside the walls of your house. The plain stretches far as the eye can see, and the valleys and rivers embrace one another like two lovers reunited. There's a whole world inside the walls? Really? Yes, we are a magical race, and we mean you no harm. We come in peace, and we wish to coexist with you here. That's wonderful, Commander Sparks. I can't believe it. A whole race of people right inside of our walls. My name is Peter. Pleased to meet you. Uh, please, tell me more about your people. I want to learn everything. Another Spanish test at school today. Oh, Lucy, don't be so hard on yourself. Spanish is a very confusing and misguided language. If it wasn't good enough for Jesus Christ, then I say it can go to hell. Besides, when I was your age, I failed every Spanish test that I took, and just look at how I turned out. <laughs> And there are hundreds of thousands of them. And the best part is, they live right in our walls. Isn't that wonderful? I hate them, Peter. They sound like filthy, disgusting, vile creatures. I want them exterminated immediately. But Edmund, they're civilized, intelligent creatures. They've done nothing to harm us. We'll just see about that, Peter. <laughs> we'll just see, won't we? <laughs> Yes, Susan. They are friendly and mean us no harm. They live all in throughout the walls and even in our caves underneath our house. Even in caves underneath our house? What strange creatures. Yes, but I need all of your help to convince Edmund to leave them be. He wants them exterminated. Peter? Yes, Lucy? What do these naiads look like? They're small and pink and they look a bit like a testicle, I suppose. I think I might may have eaten one. Enough! Peter, after you see what I recorded on my trusty surveillance equipment late last night, I think you'll all change your tune about these wretched, filthy naiads. Watch. Status report, Commander. Everything is going according to plan, Admiral Telemachus. Perfect. Now that we have the humans on our side, we can begin phase two of our plan. Little do they know that our intention is to poop and pee all over every square inch of this house. We will poop and pee and doo-doo and poo-poo and poopy and pee-pee all on the ground in, in the human's hair and poop and pee and doo-doo in their eyes. We will poo-poo and pee-pee on the hardwood floors and poo-poo and pee-pee in the carpets. We will poop and pee in their mouths and all poop and pee in the rations of food. Once our poop and our pee has infiltrated the refrigerator and the poop and the pee is spread thickly through the cupboards and in the micro- Is that enough? Or should I play more? Dear God, Edmund, no. You were right all along. These creatures, they must be stopped. And this book is going to help us do it. <laughs> En defensa de las más de 3 millones de firmas que respaldan la convocatoria a un referéndum revocatorio presidencial. ¡Sí! 